out so long, it look like up to me. They look good to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Yo, what is up, you guys? This is your boy Vex. He's coming at you with a video on the advantages of and disadvantages of playing Claw. So if you do not know what Claw is, Claw is a way to hold your controller that it hope it has some, some good things and some bad things, but it's just another way to hold your controller so you can have like better movement and stuff that a lot of Gears War players do as well, especially COD players, because you get more control of the movement in your game. Um your your main focus shifts from uh your like having to switch your right thumb from your right stick and your A button or your right stick and your B, whatever game you're playing. And it makes you where you could just have to, where you, all you have to do, you can hold like have the your one finger on the A button or B, whatever you're using, and one finger on the stick at the same time. Here's a picture of what it looks like. So to play on call before I get like um, into this video, um, you hold your control that way and it to, like, to actually get used to it, you just have to literally just like constantly keep playing. Um, when you first try it, if you're switching from playing default or thumb scheme, whatever, like, same thing, then uh, make sure to stay dedicated to playing claw because it will make your fingers feel a little weird the first few times that you try it. So yeah, just keep on playing that, and you'll get better. So to get on to the, um, the actual main part of this video, uh, a few of the advantages of playing claw is that you get a faster reaction time, like, a, like you're able to react to things faster, so say that somebody's shooting you from behind, you can actually turn around faster because you have more control of your movement the game since you don't have to switch from between the uh, your A button and your thumbstick you can do both at the same time simultaneously and um, that leads to the next one which is having a better movement and more control um, so personally I play Claw because I like to to use the movement system in Gears of War a lot which I believe I'm very good at uh, wall bouncing and stuff and it gives me a lot of more control because I'm able to to have both of my fingers on the sticks at the same time without having to switch them up from the A button back to the right stick, and I don't have to um. And I can I can t uh, tap A while moving my screen, so I don't have to switch back like I said before, and this helps me a lot with um with my movement in the game. So uh, the disadvantages in playing Claw is the number one thing that's a disadvantage is the loss of accuracy. Accuracy is a, like you know one of the most important things because you want to hit your shots and then you want to get those kills and all that. But what I do like in the response to the loss of accuracy, um, I only use my shotgun and sometimes my lancer when you are playing claw, and I would switch back to the default scheme so I can have that good protection when I'm using a power weapon such as a sniper or the M-bar. Um, and this helps a lot because uh, you know you have you're more like focused on L triggering and your accuracy when playing thumbs rather than playing claw, which you're most focused on your uh, movement. And that just helps a lot. Um, learning how to switch back and forth may be a difficult task to abide by at first and start to learn, but once you get down claw, you'll be able to instantly do it. It's like your fingers do it like simultaneously, and it won't be hard at all. Um, another thing that I find difficult for people playing uh, for playing claw, which also like, which will also make you like, want to uh, switch back and forth, is the use of the pistol. A lot of players that play claw they do not use a pistol anymore because it's hard to to click uh the RT that fast with like to like a fast speed with your um ring finger or your middle finger whatever however you're holding it. Um this is why I still use the pistol sometimes but in that case I always just uh switch back and forth so it doesn't make it like hard to use like in response to this little disadvantage. Um in my opinion if you're a Gears of War player and you actually like want to be able to have uh, more control and start moving faster. Uh, I would recommend you to play in claw so you can get your um your moving up and it, you'll notice the game coming to you a lot easier because you're able to escape situations um, that you, when you're in like bad spots or something as well as you're able to move around faster to evade shots. So uh, yeah, that's basically it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is your boy Vexy signing out. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs>